Hey guys, welcome to the next coding assignment. What we're going to be doing here is finding the second highest number. We need to write a program that will return the second highest number in an array. So let's just say we have this array here. As you can see, this array has five elements. 9, 2, 1, 60, and 47. Simply by just looking at this array, you can see that the second highest number is 47. So you may be asking yourself, how do we do this? So what we need to do is, first of all, analyze the coding assignment and just pretty much just break it down. Now, for this particular assignment, there's a couple of things that we need to take into account. So in order to find the second highest number within an array, we know one thing. We know we must go through every element within the list. So we must iterate through the entire list. Another thing is that we need to be able to keep track of the second highest number. And we also need to be able to keep track of the highest number. Now, the reason we need to be able to keep track of these numbers is basically to make sure that we are going to calculate the proper values upon each iteration of this loop. Another thing that we need to do is we need to know how to store the value of the above numbers as we iterate through this list. So basically what this means is we need to be able to set up conditional statements that are going to check for the highest and the second highest values. So let's just say we have two variables here. When we have the largest number variable, this is going to be set initially to zero. The second largest variable is going to also be set to zero. <clears throat> so let me just try to walk you guys through this in this presentation form. So basically, what's happening here is we have an array list, and I'm going to kind of walk you through how we would calculate the largest and the second largest number. So this is our array right here, and we are iterating through this array with a loop. All right, so in the first iteration of this loop, what's going to happen is that the largest number and the second largest number is going to be set to 9. These two variables are going to be set to the first element within this array. Now. Upon the second iteration, what's going to happen is that we are going to compare the largest number, which is currently 9, against the next number in this array, which is, which is 2. So if the largest number is greater than the current element, which is 2, then we are not going to do anything. We're just going to leave the largest number just as is. But if that largest number was less than the current element in the array, then what's going to happen is that we are going to set the largest number equal to that higher number. Now, for the second largest number, let's just say we are on that iteration of 2 right here. What we're going to do is compare that 9 against the current element in the array, which would be 2. So if 2 is lesser, then 9, then we want to set the second largest number equal to 2. Because what that means is that currently in this iteration, 2 is less than 9. So those are how those values would be set. And then from there, we would just continuously make our way through the loop until we, it, we reach the end of the array. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. But if it doesn't, I always feel like coding can help. So Without further ado, let's jump right into the code. All right, guys, so welcome to the coding portion of this video. In this program, what we're going to be doing is actually writing a program to find the second highest number in the array. So what we're going to do, we're just going to jump right into it. And I'm going to zoom this in for you guys. All right. So. All right. So basically, when we're doing this, the first thing that we need to do is we need to be able to keep track of the largest and the second largest value. 
So the first thing that we need to do is create two variables. Int largest equals zero. One variable, another one, int second largest equals zero. All right, so we have two variables here, and these two variables are going to keep track of the largest and the second largest values after we've made our way through this array list. And I also want to add a comment, like I always do, to just make sure you guys fully understand what's going on as I make my way through the code. Create two data members, or I say two variables to find second highest num. Well, actually create two variables um, to hold. To hold largest and second largest values. All right. Now the next thing that we want to do, we're just going to create ourselves a test array. An array that holds the numbers. It's basically just going to be a simple array that holds the numbers that we're going to be testing out. Int array equals this array here. So we're going to fill this array up with some numbers. We're just going to go 9, 2, 1, 60, 47. All right, so this is going to be the array that we're going to be iterating through. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is create, and we're going to create a loop to iterate through this array list. So we're just going to go for int i equals zero. i is lesser than array dot length i plus plus like that all right so the most important part of this code is going to go into this loop all right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a conditional statement that is going to check for the array list at a particular position. And we're going to check that element at a particular position. And then we're going to be able to set our largest and our second largest value. So I'm just going to write out the code right now. I'm just going to go if, if array at position i is greater than largest. then we want to do something. And I'm just going to go ahead and write this, write the rest of the code out right now. Second largest equals largest. I'm going to explain this in a minute to you guys. Largest equals array at position i. All right, so let's talk about this. All right, so the first thing that we've done is we've created ourselves a for loop, which is going to iterate through every element within that array. As you can see, we have our array right here. It's going to go through each one of these elements within this array. Now, inside of this loop, we have a conditional statement. So we have if array at position i is greater than largest. We know we initially set our largest variable to zero. So if array at position i is, is greater than the largest, then what we're going to do is set the second largest equal to the largest value. And then we're going to set the largest equal to array at position i. So what's going to happen is that once we continuously iterate through this list, these two values are going to change based on the previous values that we've acquired and compare it against the current values. 
So basically what's happening here is we have an array at position i, and if that element in the current iteration of this array is greater than the largest, which is 0, then what we're going to do is we're going to set the largest equal to the array at that current position. And then we're also going to set the largest equal to the second largest. So the largest is going to go inside of the second largest. And what we want to do also is add an else statement. Else if. All right. So else if array at position i is greater than second largest, then what we want to do is set the array at position i equal to the second largest. So second largest will equal array at position i. All right. All right, so hopefully this makes sense to you guys. I'm going to go through it once more. All right, so what's happening here is we have this else if conditional statement. And this else if conditional statement is basically taking the array at position i. And if that array at position i is greater than the second largest, then we're going to take the array at position i. And then that's going to be the value of the second largest. All right, so basically what's going to happen is that we're going to, first of all, go through this if, and if this is not satisfied, we're going to make our way to this else if statement. All right, so let's try to break this down and kind of go through this. And, and let's just, Let me just try to walk you through this. So let's just say, for example, array at position i, we have 9, right? So 9 is going to be greater than 0. We're starting off with the first iteration. So 9 is greater than 0. So we're going to set our second largest equal to um, the largest, right? So the second largest in the current iteration will be 0, and the largest will be set to 9, OK? Now, let's just make our way to the next iteration. So basically, the first iteration we already are going to have our values for a second largest, which is going to be 0, and then our first largest, which is going to be 9. Okay, That's the value of the second largest and the largest in this current iteration. Now, if we make our way to the next iteration, what's going to happen is we're going to do the same thing. Array list at position i. If this is greater than the largest, we know what our largest we know what our largest is all right our largest is 9 so 2 is that greater than 9 no it's not so it's going to bounce out of this if conditional and make our way here so array at position i which is the current iteration within this array is going to be 2 okay so 2 that's going to be greater than 0 which it is, then we want to set the array at position i equal to second largest. So now the second largest will be 2, and the first largest is still going to be 9. And then eventually, you're going to continuously go through this loop until you reach the end of it. And then once you reach the end of this array, you then want to print out the second largest element. So. What we're going to do now is actually write some code where this will be printed out. All right. And that's going to go right here. Print out the array and the second largest number. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write some code that's going to print out the entire array to the console and is also going to spit out the second largest number that we have obtained from this array after it has been iterated through. So I'm just going to go this out, arrays dot to string, and then array. 
And then we're just going to go system that, that out that print ln and just going to go the second largest number is plus second largest okay so we already know what the second largest element is in this array so if we look through all these elements the, we know the first largest, you see that? That's 60, the second largest would have to be 47. All right, so we're gonna run this. The second largest is 47. So as you can see, the array has been printed out and I've also spit out the second largest element in the array that we have iterated through. So that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.